Hello everyone, uh, my name is Quan Nguyen. Uh, today's topic will be 3GS particles. Uh, we will explore the vertices of the built-in geometries. And we will do some animation of those vertices. Here we use the shear geometry. Here we have bottom half of the sphere. Here we try to uh, do animation of the, those vertices in the sphere. Here basically we get a ring and those ring start falling. Those particles are the vertices of the sphere. Similarly, uh, we try to do the roof collapse, collapsing of the sphere. You can see that it layer by layer the particles start to falling down. This video do assume that you understand the basic structure of a 3GS script. Okay. For the seared, uh, the documentation should be 3GS.org docs and there's a whole bunch of geometry here. We will test a few of them, namely the sphere geometry. This is the basic structure uh, of the 3, 3GS script. I hope you understand it. Basically, uh, you need uh, four things. You need a scene, you need a camera, you need a mass to create a physical shape and finally you need a renderer to draw on the screen here we have the scene and here we create the mesh basically the geometry and we add to the scene here basically we create a renderer and here we set the camera position so you do need those four basic things to create uh, the basic 3GS scripts. Now for the sphere geometry, here basically R is radius 100. Egg basically it divide into the egg vertical portion like here. You see one, two, three, four here and 20 spine. If I make this one 80, it's gonna be like that. So we're going to start the tutorial from here. Now if you look guys closely on the surface of the sphere, the sphere make up a lot of triangles, rectangles and some groove area and most of some sharp points right down here. That's a lot of points. Those are vertices. We want to see those vertices. And here um, you see that vertice the dot here, it, the dot is a vertex. We want to see those. Okay. Now on the script, we just uh, adding these two lines. Uh, we use a particle system. And the material, we will use particle material. I don't need this anymore. So here, that's the original, and we just add these two lines in. And that's what we see. So those dots here are the vertices and we're going to manipulate those vertices. Now, so far it vertex, we set the size of the vertex equal 5 pixel and the color red. Now, what, how do we set the vertex in different color? Here, I just add in those few lines of script. The first thing is that we make the color, random color. Okay, the number of color I make depend on the geometry I set right down here. Geometry vertex length. So depend I set uh, these two number. Then I set the geometry called color, and finally on the material I use particle basic material, and the vertex equal true. Once I get material. 
Then I create the mesh. I don't need this anymore. Control S save. This one too big. I make this guy 10. This is the side of, of the dot and the vertex here. So you see different color. Now, when you do tray 3 GS, uh, it's good that uh, you have some pre-built script like this. I copy from uh, Mr. Dupe. Then add a few more lines here. This what do is now. Now, uh, when you do any 3D, it's good to have a utility that you can move the object around. Like for example, I move a mouse. You can see that, uh, so I can look different angle. Uh, this script has been pre-written by Mr. Duke. Here I just added in and add a few lines. Uh, this is very important uh, if you start do the 3D. Then I uh, of course, the other way is just to see what shape you draw is to add some uh, rotating the object around. Here, I just add uh, in few line for animation. So basically, I keep rotating this so we see uh, the shape, the whole shape. Save it. You can see its shape. So. Now, once we get uh, the basic vertex moving, we can explore the vertex of the geometry. Here, I just add these two in. And those are from, if you go to 3H.all, they explain each number. Uh, I suppose I want to have half, a, half of the uh, sphere. Then I just, instead of got two pi, I get one pi. You can see here I get half the pie. So what about if I have half top bottom of the sphere? So let's say you want to have the bottom, then you can have starting angle. Like that. So if you can play around and you watch the definition of this parameter. So far, uh, for each individual vertex, we can style it with different color and different size, but we cannot move yet. To move it like this, uh, we need to create a duplicate. Uh, for each particles. So here uh, we just add this one in. As you can see, uh, we create a new geometry too. And we use the same color as previously. And we get the location of the vertex from the own geometry, okay? This geometry, not geometry G2. So this geometry we take, we, here we create and here we use uh, the vertex of this geometry. And for each vertex, uh, we get the position x, y, z. We create a vector for that. And this one for, we're going to move the vertex later on. And finally, we put into push into the particle into geometry 2 vertex. Then finally we create a new mesh 2. Then we add to scene. To move it you need uh, to put this statement soft particles in. Okay. So once we uh, take out the command of this one, 
we save it now we have to match this is original match this is new match this is a copy of, of on the vertex of the original match now you can see that uh, basically we have two copy the spheres and one sphere is moving and this sphere we just copy it fixed because we not telling to move yet so once we create that one then on the animation we tell for each vertex of mass number two okay then we say hey this is the new uh, position y position for each particles so if you save it you will see See dropping the y direction. See the own uh, mesh is still rotating, okay. But for for the vertex or the particle mesh number two is falling because it's we tell them to fall right down here. Here it fall different rate because we set the random number the speed falling is different speed if you create new mesh each vertex of that mesh come from the original geometry and we give the speed uh, geometry randomly Here's the location of the original position of the vertex, and here we tell them to move. So the particle that move is belong to mass number two. Now we can take out the mass original mass. You can see that. It's gone, so what it left is a particle of mass number two. Now, once you got the particle moving, uh, we can play around with the particle. Here, I just add uh, this statement telling that uh, if the position uh, of particle is below less than zero, which down here, don't do anything. The particle above on the top half of the sphere start falling. Uh, similarly, I uh, just change the polarity of the equation here. Basically, here tell uh, for the pixel above on the positive side, stay fixed. Don't change. Only change the pixel below zero. If you pay attention uh, on the particle falling at the same time. So what I want to change it, it's falling layer by layer. See, it's down from the top down. Here I set y equal 100. Then I uh, keep in decreasing it. Okay. So if the position of that any individual vertex it's larger than I move it. If not, it stay the same. So you can see y, v y keep on y keep on lower, lower. Uh, I just change the direction uh, so the particle from the down from the below, from the bottom first. Uh, here I try the torus geometry uh, 